Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, we're on our way to find a Sasquatch, and we stopped at the Frank Slide in Alberta. And if you want to read the whole thing, you can pause this now. But basically, in the early morning of the 29th of April, 1903, most of the almost 600 residents of the coal mining town of Frank were asleep. At 4.10, a crashing thunderous roar filled the dark, sleeping town and spilled out into the Crow's Nest Pass. A wedge of limestone over one kilometer wide, 425 meters long, and 150 meters deep had broken from the crest of Turtle Mountain. It smashed apart as it slid downwards, breaking into boulders that rolled and bounced from the side of the mountain and spread across the valley. So if you want to read the rest of that, you can pause now and read it. But let me show you this slide. So this was a little coal mining town in the early parts of Alberta. Alberta and there's Turtle Mountain where it slid down and there are the boulders and they spread across 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 the road which they had to rebuild and continued on and on and on so why we stopped here I've always been fascinated with this slide we learned about it in school back when you learned about cool things in school and uh, anyway, I digress. <laughs> Anyways, this is the town of people that are underneath here. And there was 70 to 90 of them they never accounted for because back then they really didn't have a census. So, and those people on their homes, churches, building shops, they're all buried under all of this rubble. So I brought my cards and I wanna see if uh, we can pick up any messages from the people who are still in tuned in this Frank slide. So I brought my haunted house deck. And this is going to be difficult because I'm standing here filming and I've got them in my one pocket and I've shuffled them and um, I'm asking the cards, do we have a message from anybody under here? And what came out? Wow! Page of Pentacles, a young girl. A young girl. Oh, that's sad. A young girl. So a young girl here. And actually, that would make sense. Um, because that was, a hundred, that was only 120 years ago. So anybody who is more than 44 years old is probably back already. So I've reached in... <gasps> And look at that. We have another pentacle, ace of pentacles. So this is definitely a young girl. You'll just have to trust me that I'm, I've got my hand in my pocket and I'm shuffling, like I'm picking them out. I, I honestly didn't um, choose this. Oh, and we have the lovers, the lovers. So a young girl and her lover, I'm gonna guess. Plus we're in Gemini season. So it could be a young girl who was a Gemini or two young lovers. And let's see, what else do I have? Wow, King of Swords, Gemini season. Gemini season. King of Swords. Let's see, one more. One more. Oh, wow. The... Um, the Seven of Pentacles. I, this is telling me that she's trapped under there. This is definitely a young girl. A young girl with her Gemini lover. With her Gemini lover. And they have been, they're still trapped under there. Because that's Seven of Pentacles. So that would tell me that they have not been, they have not ascended yet. But you know, these, I didn't get any really bad cards. We didn't get like the devil or anything like this. I think she's just telling us her spirit is still here, her and her lover. And I think she's happy enough because they have each other. Um, so that makes sense actually. That actually does make sense that they are here together with the Ace of Pentacles there that tells me she is, you know, the seed in the earth. And um, I'm, I'm not getting that she's terribly upset 
about how things are. I'm, I'm getting that she is definitely with somebody. She's with her King of Swords, with her lover, and um, she's happy. Um, and one day she will get out. So maybe she has seven more years and uh, then, then her spirit will, will leave this area. But for in the meantime, there's a young girl here with her Gemini lover and uh, they are very happy together and um, nothing untoward, I guess. She just feels that was her fate to be trapped under Frank's slide. So anyways, I just wanted to bring you something really interesting. Um, I've always been mesmerized by this. I wish you could actually see how far that rubble goes on the other side. Like it honestly goes. And look at the size of some of these boulders that came crashing down. Oh, got to watch my step here. Like if that were to hit you, you, you wouldn't have a chance. Like look at this big one here. And that could definitely knock out the house. You have to remember the momentum coming down from up on Turtle Mountain there. So there's lots of information. I'll post the uh, wiki page down in the description. And uh, yeah, we're on our way to go find a Sasquatch. Thanks for watching. Take good care. See you online. Bye for now.